of course, yeah, you, you know, we said it, uh, we thrive on peaceful coexistence. This project can only thrive when everyone puts their hands on the table to make it work. And uh, I know that since 2016 to date, uh, the support has been enormous. Uh, we've had support from the royal fathers of the host communities and all the community leaders have been throwing their support. And of course, through the community consultative forum, uh, where you have the youth uh, association leaders from both Ibeza and uh, HLA Warrior Axis, they have been through, giving us tremendous support. Uh, I, I, I want to recall one incident. Just during the lockdown period, uh, you know, at the height of the protest uh, necessitated by the uh, the lockdown and then the harsh ha NSAS protest came up. And then people were frightened that, uh, you know, they might attack some foreign interests, including this, or government interests, including the free trade zone. But the community elders, they paid us a solidarity visit with the youth thing and assured us that, look, they would rather die than seeing anyone, you know, uh, come to disturb the businesses or the peace of this area. They gave us that assurance, and truly, nothing happened. They were always coming around to show solidarity to this project. So they've always been very, very supportive. Very, very supportive. Uh, we won't say that uh, the one or two uh, people that are very inconsequential figure that may come maybe because of issues bordering on land-related uh, uh, information, which I think they are, they are not... They don't want to get the information that is in public domain. You know, we don't have any issues. We don't have any issues with the host communities. We interact. The last uh, Chinese New Year, uh, they gave us a very uh, wonderful gift. We dine wine together. During our end of year parties, we also uh, wine and dine together. That even reminds me, uh, during the last year's, uh, that's 2020 end of year uh, party, the the management uh, initiated uh, an empowerment program, especially for the less privileged in the community, where people were empowered, uh, you know, to engage in some sort of works or businesses that will help them to grow economically. These are part of the drives we are talking about that we help to you know bring a cordial relationship between the host community and the free trade zone. Uh, we are also being uh, uh, preemptive in bringing out some other projects that will also uh, help, especially in the areas of our corporate social responsibilities. We've talked about the issue of having a trust fund. We also talked about having uh, an, an exhibition and cultural exchange between the host communities and the operators who are largely foreigners in the zone, you know. And we're also talking about a football tournament, you know, for youth uh, talent discovery. So some of these things have been put in place to galvanize a very robust uh, relationship between us and the host communities, and also to allow them to feel the impact of this project.